welcome back to the new session in this session we are going to learn a new poem written by pablo neruda the name of the poem is keeping quiet keeping silence pablo neruda his original name was nestali ricardo reyes basolta he was born in 19 not for zero four in peril in chile and died in 1973 he got nobel prize for literature in 1971 in this poem he mainly concentrates on the theme of peace he discusses about the three important features number one peace number 2 introspection number 3 mutual understanding now everybody knows that the world is covered with tension fear nobody has mental peace so here the writer asks the readers to keep still for some time so that they can gain mental peace for some time peace number 2 introspection self examination number 3 mutual understanding so look at the boy now we will count to 12 what is the importance of 12 12 indicates 12 marks on the clock it means one minute 12 indicates 12 marks on the clock it also means 12 months and we will all keep still he has right to say that yet to minute tak 12 tak gimne ka time yet to minute tak hum sabhi log still silence mein jaye for ons ek baar on the face of the earth let us not speak in any language this is a challenge for all of us ek minute tak the people in the world not in a particular region not in a particular country all the people in the world ek hi time pe ek sath silence mein jayenge let us not speak in any language and you know that the writer mainly focuses on the theme peace that is why the right to say that hame ek minute tak koi sa bhi bhasha mein baat nahi karna chahiye why does the right to say that we should not speak in any language because language is the key root of every quarrel there is a chance of quarrel if we speak isliye right to say that we should not speak in any language in this glorious time let us stop for one second one second here indicates the period of one minute and not move our arms so much arms it has two different meanings it is a pun pun means a word having two different meanings let us not move our arms so much one arms means our hands another arms indicates weapon हमें कोई सा भी हाथ यूज नहीं करना चाहिए मूव अवर आर्म्स इंडिकेट्स डूइंग वर्क आर्म्स आल्सो मीन्स वेपन सो इन दिस फोर लैंड लाइक टू से दैट्स ऑन द फेस ऑफ द अर्थ लेट अस नॉट स्पीक इन गेनी लैंग्वेज एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेंशनड द रीजन लैंग्वेज से लड़ाई होने की संभावना है language is the key root 
dead of every qual. Let us stop for one second and not move our arms so much. Arms, it has two different meanings. One, arms. Second one, weapon. It would be an exotic, strange moment. Just imagine, each and everybody in the world joined together for a glorious purpose. It means that we are going to create such a situation before the arrival of human being. Manusha ane ke pere dharti ke ishe thi. Vai situation hai. No any human made sound. That is the exotic moment. What does the writer mean by the exotic moment? Without rush. No rush. Without engine. No engine sound. We would all be together in a sudden strangeness. हम सभी लोग मिलके एक स्ट्रेंज सिचुएशन में जा रहे हैं। Once again, the name of the poet is Pablo Neruda. It is very necessary to learn the name of all the poets. Keep it quiet. In this poem, the writer concentrates on three different things: peace. Introspection. What is introspection? Self-examination and mutual understanding. What is the message? Modern world is full of fear, insecurity, war, tension. Nobody has mental peace. One minute's global silence will help us achieve mental peace for at least one minute. Then the writer says that we should not speak in any language. Ye ek minute ke andar. It means we must avoid maximum situations that would create a chance for a war. Let us stop for one second and not move our arms so much. Moving arms, doing work. Or move arms means taking weapon. Two different meanings. It would be an exotic moment. What is the exotic moment? Nourish. No engine sound, there is no human made sound. We would all be together in a sudden strangeness. So look, we will. What is the poetic device? Both the words start with the W. We, we will. That is alliteration. Again, we will. And look, let us. Other though consecutive land mean. सेम वर्ड रिपीट होगा उसको बोलते हैं एनाफोरा। व्हाट इस एनाफोरा? यूजिंग द सेम वर्ड्स इन टू डिफरेंट कंसिक्यूटिव लेग्स। एंड लेट अस नॉट मूव आवर आर्म्स सो मच। देन एन एक्सोटिक मोमेंट। व्हाट इस एक्सोटिक मोमेंट? नो रश, नो एंजिस साउंड। वी वुड अगेन एलिट्रेशन। Sudden strangeness, such a sudden strangeness, alliteration. So it is necessary to learn about the poetic devices. Let us continue to the next stanza. Fishermen in the cold sea. ये ये क्या मिलित में ये फिशर मैन को क्या करना चाहिए? In the cold sea, cold sea indicates sea near polar region. The people, there are some people there. The people who live in polar region, they only catch fish. They have no any other occupation. But the writer says that the fishermen in the cold sea would not harm whale. Harm whale. So they should stop harming whales. Here, harming whales Indicates attacking. War. Wo band karna. And the man gathering salt would look at his hot hand. Namak banane wala. Namak bana ke bana ke inka haath pura hot ho gaya. Ek minute tak unko kya karna chahiye? Abra kaam chhod ke he should look at his hot hand. So all the people in the world should leave their works and join in this glorious Okay. So fishermen, what should the fishermen do? 
in the cold sea, they should not harm whales. What should the man gather his sack to do? He should stop his work and look at his hurt hand. So please note these questions. Name the quiet. Kabulo Neruda. What is the message of the poem? Modern world is full of fear, insecurity, war, tension. Nobody has mental peace. So he has the right to say that we should join in this glorious scene, glorious occasion to maintain world peace. Number three, what does 12 indicate? 12 indicates 12 marks on the clock. It means one minute. It also means zodiac designs or zodiac sign months. Why does the writer say that we should not speak in Gary language? Language is the key root of every quarrel. So, we should stop speaking and we should avoid a chance for a war. What is the exotic moment? The exotic moment is the glorious silence. No rush, no engine shout. And then, what is meant to be cold sea? Cold sea indicates sea near polar region. What should the fishermen do? Fishermen, they should stop their work and uh, join in this glorious moment. Now we are going to discuss the next stanza. So here the writer said that we all should join in this glorious occasion. Then one more group is there, one who creates the problems. Those who prepare green bars, green bars indicate war against nature, deforestation, pollution, etc. Dharti ke khilaf ledne walo. Next, wars with gas. Now, you know that modern war gas se hote hai. Wars with fire, wars with weapon. Victory with no survivors. आपको ये बात सोचना चाहिए आपका विक्ट्री ऐसे होगा विथ नो सर्वाइवर देन व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ अ वॉर यू विल विन सर्टेनली यू विल विन बट देयर विल बी नोबडी टू सेलिब्रेट दैट विक्ट्री सो दीस थ्री ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल दे आर कॉल्ड वॉर मॉंगर्स वॉर मॉंगर्स मींस वन हु लाइक्स वॉर वन हु इज ईगर for war. Who are the war mongers? One who prepare wheel bars, bars with the gas, bars with the fire. Three type of war. Wheel bars indicate war against nature, deforestation, pollution, etc. Bars with the gas, bars with the fire, gun, rifle, or any other weapons. They should think victory with no survivor. What should they do? They should put on clean clothes. Unko kya karna chahi? Safed kapda pehna chahi. Clean cloth, white cloths. It indicates a symbol of peace. When they walk about with their brothers, apna bhaiyo ke saath chalna chahi. In the shade, shade here means peace. Dhub, violence ka symbol hai. Chaya, shanti ka symbol hai. Apna bhaiyo ke saath Shanti me, chaya me chalna chahi, doing nothing. Vina kuch karke. Ye glorious time pe, ye one minute glo, ye glorious time pe, war prepare karne wala. What should they do? They should put on clean clothes and walk about to be their brothers in the shade doing nothing. So here, what are the main wars that the poet described here. What are the main wars that the poet described here? Number two, what should the war mongers do? So the writer here, here mainly focuses on three different aspects. Number one, peace. Number two, introspection. Number three, mutual understanding. So the writer says, 
that he is going to count up to 12. 12 indicates 12 sign on the clock. It also means 12 zodiac sign, 12 months. You can write any answer. And for one minute, we should not to speak in any language. The writer wants to maintain world peace. In one minute, we should not to speak in any because language is the key root of every quarrel. Let us stop for one second and no, don't, we should not move any arm. Arm indicates hands and weapon. And then, fist, what is the exotic moment? No engine sounds, no rush. Everyone, they are together in a sudden strangeness. Then, fishermen in the cold sea, they should not harm bay. And the man gathering salt, he can the carry the calm sword again, up and up, hot, 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 what I want should not be confused by you. This is total inactivity. Total inactivity means death. Aap mera madalab ko death se kambar mat karna. The poet has said that there is no sound at all. No human made sound. धरती पूरा सो गया इसलिए राइटर बोल रहे अरे भाई मेरा मतलब को अब डेथ से कंबर मत करना लाइफ इज व्हाट इट इज अबाउट अच्छी तरह सुन लेना लाइफ वही है जो हम हुआ करता है व्हाट इज मेड बाय दैट इट हैज अ डीप मीनिंग लाइफ इज सेक्रेड हमारा जीवन बहुत पवित्र है we should not break our life on its track. Our life, our track is beat with Hame, Bandreki Kamatagi, Ek Golicharake, your Bobudake. So we have to reach up to the end of our life without any problem. So life is what it is about, means life is sacred. Life is sacred and we should not end up our life on its track. Last time we have a life ko band na ki karna chahi. So the writer clearly says, I want no truck with death. Truck means connection. I want no connection with death. Because the writer is not an advocate of death. He is an advocate of life. Even ka agent de death ka nahi hai. Then, if we were not so single minded, yes, standards ke pehle aap just imagine karna, it will be better. It will be better. What is better? If we were not so single minded, single minded, selfish. About keeping our lives moving, thinking about oneself. Khud ke baare mein soch ke hume selfish nahi banna chahiye ek minute mein and for once could do nothing. Ye ek minute mein hume kuch bhi kaam nahi karna chahiye. So it will be better if we were not so selfish thinking about oneself and for once could do nothing. Once again, the writer says that mera mother ko. Mera lakshiko of conscious matkiji with the total inactivity. Life is what it is about. Life oye do ham kuwa karta hai. If artu jis nahi hai, it is very sacred. It has value. Ahame ye life ko pavitra jivan ko, ye anmol jivan ko, raste me break up nahi karna chagi. Ye both achai. If we were not so single minded, selfish. And about keeping our own lives moving. Khud ke baare mein soche ke, khud ka jeevan ke baare mein soche ke, hume selfish na ki banna chahi. And one minute, 
हमें कुछ भी काम नहीं करना चाहिए अल्ट्रेशन Then we are going to discuss the important questions. Please note these two questions. Does the poet advocate death? No. The poet does not advocate death because he is an agent of life. He may be concentrated on the theme peace. What should we do to maintain peace? We should not think about ourselves and uh, for one minute. we should do nothing now we are going to discuss the last stanza the writer said that his game is to maintain peace perhaps a huge silence what does the poet mean by the huge silence the global silence ye huge silence might interrupt interrupt karna stop This sadness, ये बहुत बड़ा huge silence आपका ये दुख को कम से कम एक मिनट तक रोकेगा कौन सा दुख नंबर वन नेवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग अवर सेल्स दैट इज द मेन प्रॉब्लम वी डोंट नो हु वी आर वी डोंट नो वॉट आवर गेम्स आर वी डोंट नो वाई डू वी लिव दैट इज वाई द राइट टू से अबाउट द सेल्फ इंट्रोस्पेक्शन सेल्फ एक्सामिनेशन दो बातों से वी आर वेरी सैड नंबर वन नेवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग अवर सेल्स नंबर टू वो थ्रेटनिंग अवर सेल्स विथ डेथ हम सभी लोग अपने आप को डरा रहे विथ डेथ सो टू थिंग्स मेक अस वरी नंबर वन नेवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग अवर सेल्स नंबर टू फियर ऑफ डेथ सो द राइट टू से देखो Perhaps a huge silence might interrupt the sadness. आपके ये दुखों को ये कमेंट तक रोकेगा. Which sadness? Sadness of never understanding ourselves. Number two, sadness of threatening ourselves with death. Finally, the writer says, "Don't dare to ever to say. Just remember that there is no death in the world." it is only an illusion look at the sentence perhaps the earth can teach us shayad hame ye dharti ek acha lesson sikhati what is that as when everything seems dead sab kuch hamare samne marne dikhai de rahe not die but later proves to be alive lekin baad mein ye mara hua cheez hamare samne जिंदा साबित होते हैं वॉट डज राइट मीन हाउ डस दर्थ टीचर्स नंबर वन लुक एट द सन सेट्स वेन द सन सेट्स द अर्थ स्लीव देर इज नो इट सीम्स दैट देर इज नो लाइफ बट आफ्टर समटाइम सन विल प्राइस सब अगेन ये अंधेरा पूरा हट जाएगा नंबर टू सीट्स When we so seeds for some time, it remains dead. But after some time, the same seeds will grow up, and it will bear flowers and fruits. Number three, winter. When winter comes, the earth seems dead. But after some time, the spring will come, and the entire world will be bloomed up. So the writer here says. why do we fear death because there is no death in the world it is only an illusion dekho everything seems dead only marne dikhai de rahe but the same thing later proves to be a life hum ek transform kar rahe hamara life ko hum transform kar rahe change kar rahe there is no death hum ek naya roop leke wapas aa jate now i will count up to 12 and you keep quiet and i will go ab main 12 tak ginunga it means the duration of 1 minute and you keep quiet ek minute tak aap silence mein rakhiye and then i will go uske baad main chal jaunga look at these questions 
What is the sadness that the poet mentioned here? The poet mentioned here about the two different sadness. Was never understanding ourselves. Number two, fear of death. What does the earth teach us? The earth teaches us that when everything seems dead and later supposed to be alive. Death is only an illusion. What examples can you quote to prove that there is life under apparent stillness? We have already quoted three different examples. Number one, sun arrives and the sun sets. Number two, seed grows. Number three, winter and spring. When the sun arises, the earth seems dead and silence. But after some time, the earth will be like now. Number two, seed growth. When seed is sowed, it seemed just like that. But after some time, the same seed will grow up. Third one, winter and the spring. When winter comes, the earth seems dead, but later, the same earth will be filled up with the flowers when spring comes. So, this poem ka message very simple. Aaj ka dunya pura problem se bhara hua hai. Kisi ke man mein shanti nahi hai. Aaj ka sthiti aap just imagine karke dekh lo. Sab ke man mein different kinds of problems hai. So, the writer says, hum sabhi milke एक मिनट तक पूरा बातों को भूल के एक मिनट तक एक ग्लोरियस मोमेंट में जाएंगे कम से कम एक मिनट तक हम हमारे मन में शांति प्राप्त कर सकते हैं सो द राइटर कॉन्सेंट्रेट्स ऑन थ्री डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट्स पीस इंट्रोस्पेक्शन एंड म्यूचुअल अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो द राइटर आस्क एवरीवन टू स्टॉप द वर्क and join in the glorious moment. So we should stop all our works and join in this mission. The people who are following bars, they should stop their work and should join in this glorious moment. Finally, the writer says that uh, you should not fear death because death is only an illusion. ये धरती हम एक अच्छा लेसन सिखाते देर इज नॉट डेथ इट ओनली सीम्स डेट बट लेट अपोज टू बी आई थिंक यू हैव गॉट अ क्लियर आइडिया अबाउट द पॉइंट पॉइंट पाबलो आई लेट सी लेटर थैंक यू